along to our UTV's coverage of this under-23s professional development league game here at Allen Road. It is Leeds United versus Burley. Myself, Tom Hill, and Matty Dowding bringing you all the action tonight as Leeds try to get back to winning ways. Been a, just a indifferent few weeks compared to the start of the season. Leeds at no winning four, lost three of those matches, but plenty to build on after their last uh, game on an evening here. They beat Watford 6-0 back on the 16th of September. Burnley, on the, other, on the other hand, are unbeaten this season. They've managed to play 10 games, though it's two more than Leeds. And, of course, a win tonight will help to cut that seven-point deficit. I'll run you through the two teams quickly. We'll get Matty's uh, thoughts on the game here for this 7 o'clock kickoff. So Leeds go with Ilan Meslian, Jeremy Shackleton, Liam McCarron, Olive Casey, Pascal Struick, Liam Cooper, Jordan Stevens, Alfie McCalmont, Ryan Edmondson, Matthias Burgess and Jack Clark. Camel Myzek on the bench, along with Jack Jenkins, Robbie Gotts, Leif Davis, Tyler Roberts. For Burnley, it's Lucas Jensen, Ryan Cooney, Ali Koyiki, Adam Phillips, Scott Wilson, Anthony Glennon, Josh Benson, Christian and Gesson, Rob Parker, Lewis Richardson and Nijai Tucker. On the bench for the Clarets today, George McMahon, Tonho Bayode, Joel Mumbongo, Kane Patterson and Mark Goodridge. Firstly, Matty, good evening and... Uh, Let's hope for a good evening for Leeds United. What are your thoughts ahead of the game tonight? Uh, yeah, um, I'm hoping that you know the lads can get a win. Obviously, last last couple of games so not been as good as we know we can be. Um, and I think you know, obviously, having the likes of people like Liam Cooper in today are, are going to help the lads hopefully push through and and get a victory. Here. We we've done you know a bit of work on Burnley and seeing seeing what they can do and you know how they can hurt us and know that they'll they'll be a physical side and they won't back off but we know that if if we put everything together then we should have enough to to beat them tonight yeah so great battles between these two sides last year premier league cup and in the league as burnley get us underway inside the first uh, few stages they go long edmondson is flagged offside big night for him I do believe Leeds in that 3-3-1 uh, three, 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 formation. Back three of Ollie Casey, Pascal Struick, Liam Cooper. Alfie McCalmont will sit in front of the back three. Flanking Liam McCarron and Jamie Shackleton. Here Leeds first away down the line. It's with Jack Clark. Clark's got Edmondson inside him. Burgess went looking for McCallant, but Burnley can intercept. They come down the left, and that ball looks like it's going to go out for a throw, which it has. See Pascal Stroop back out there, of course. Had a little absence uh, the last couple of weeks. And Mesley in goal going from strength to strength this season in the 23. Some really good performances, both in normal play and at uh, penalty situations. Had a good couple of saves so far. And he's now back in possession from a Casey pass. Really good searching pass out to the wing for Clark. And McCarran nips in. He's got uh, good footwork to try and get past a couple of these Burnley players. Gets away with one, but keeps possession. Now he tries to find Clark. That's got options. Edmondson's one of the Oh, he's just kicked it against the other foot. But really good there, Matty, to see Lee's building down the flanks, using the width. Edmondson's uh, very unfortunate. Yeah, good there, you know, good good stuff. Positive work from Liam there, just coming in off the line. And a little bit fortunate, but he, he skipped past the man and slid in Clark. He, he's put up pretty much an inch-perfect ball in for Rai, who's, you know, just got a little bit tangled under his feet there, but... You know, right idea and, and good work from the boys. Got the uh, best goal kick. Good news for Leeds. Sarcastic cheers from the home fans. And Leeds go out towards Cooper. Calmont, put under pressure by 
Lewis Richardson. As I say, these two meeting on a good few occasions uh, last year. Two really good battles at uh, Burnley's training ground in Lancashire. High scoring games uh, as well, so expect uh, a decent game tonight between the two. Leeds winning 3 1 back in March, 6 3 back in December, a 2 2 draw in October as well. Good ball over the top. Edmondson just can't get there. And Struick into Sarah's Burgess. Arthur McCalm up with the captain's handband on tonight. Good work from Casey to Cooper. Cooper trying to go through the midfield, but Burnley read that. They've got plenty of parrot and blue shirts in the middle of the park. Strix interception. Cooper has to get across and does. There's McCarron tries to hurdle the tackle. Ball won back. There's Shackleton who was asking for it to come wide. And this is the pacey wing for Leeds. We've got Stevens and Shackleton down the same flank. Edmondson's peeled away, got to the ball. Good tackle. Early stages though, Matty, and Brian looks uh, very sharp up front. Yeah, no, he does look sharp. I think, you know, the, it looks like Burnley are going to sit off a little bit off, off Leeds and let let the centre-halves in Casey and um, Coops and, and Pascal have the ball and then try and bite when it gets into them areas with with Mateus and, and Alfie. But, you know, we're, we're good enough to break break down the press and, you know, try getting behind them using the likes of Ryan and Clarkie and... And Steve-O. Yeah, leads from that corner. It was Liam McCarron letting fire from the edge of the box. Pretty much everybody forward in a lead shirt. Swung in, it's towards Struick. It's also over the head of Cooper. He tried to stay it back across goal for another Leeds teammate, but couldn't find anybody. He let Mesley be nursed to shoot. Strong right. uh, inside his own half. It's another really good pass from him. Even better one out to find Shackleton. The bounce of the ball just beats him. Of course, don't want to tempt fate and, and jinx them, but down the flanks with the wing back options of Shackleton and Stevens pairing up and then McCarron and Clark essentially two wingers on either yeah, side no, definitely yeah two, you know two people that are on both sides like you say comfortable going forward and real pace on on either flank so they'll be looking you know to get Shacks and Liam into into advanced areas even beyond Clarkie and, and Stephen get some good service into into Ryan up top yeah, leads force back and have the first six minutes they have shaded things a bit more possession early back with Josh Benson And he's putting him under pressure and forcing another rushed kick out from the back. And Shackleton meets it. Here is Ngetan. Good job Cooper was there because that was a good ball over the top, potentially. Vegas picks okay. up the pieces. Good turn as well. And Struick is man in the centre of that back three. Reminder of the Leeds bench. Kamal Mizek, Jack Jenkins, Robbie Gotts, Steve Davis and Tyler Roberts. Edmondson gets involved. Shackleton tries to return the header. They two have been heavily involved so far. Edmondson to Shackleton whose pass is wayward. He was looking for Stevens. Here's McCalmonts and he looks up for that. Better to go cross field. Just gets caught hitting the top of the ball and doesn't get any loft. Just a couple of sloppy bits from the lads really. They just need to just calm down, just relax a bit because they've had what we in first within first ten minutes they've they probably shaded it, but just a couple of times just giving the ball away in in you know in in sloppy areas and 
putting pressure on themselves. The other stages, of course, it's been a good few weeks, the 23s. They were in action against Birmingham before the first team played them. It was uh, on the Friday, the 18th. Here is Stevens. Through a, a reminder of the Burnley results, played 10. Two more matches than Leeds, such as the seven point difference. But they are unbeaten this year, so if Leeds are to get past them, they have to be at their best. Cooper. See what's here, I McCalmont was on side to, on hand, should I say, to try and play the ball too, but not used at this stage. Burnley putting plenty of bodies, Matty, behind the ball. Which yeah, they, no, they are. They, they obviously, you know, they've decided that they're going to let Leeds have it at the back with the free and, and let them move it on. Yeah, Leeds get the look of the bounce for the first time on this uh, right-hand side. There is Shackleton to McCalmont. Ball in behind, off. it's a great run from Burgess. Can he get to it? He's just going to be beaten. It's good defending from Burnley. Yeah, he's done well there, the left Burnley back. Kiyoki, the left back. And Stephens is a bit strong in the tackle. Great ball from Alfie, that, though. He's just picked his head up and just, just slid Bogus in just a little bit off with the weight, but great idea from him there. Going taken. So a free kick taken, should I say. <coughs> Went along with it. Good work from Katie, who's been really, really strong in the 23 since stepping in. Yeah, I like, you know, I really like playing with Casey's really good centre half, commanding, and very, very good on the ball for, for someone of his size. And, you know, he's made the step up to 23s this, this year. Would make it, he's made it look relatively easy. And, you know, he's such a great player for Mike Jackson in the 18s over the last couple of years. And now it's just about can he, can he push on and go again and hopefully start knocking on the first team door. Yeah, all the signs uh, looking positive as uh, Matty said. So Burnley will throw that ball straight out of play so Pascal Struik takes it quickly, goes to Cooper. And Karen, the man that lets the ball roll into Clark's path. Burgess, he's looked set. good on the ball so far. Clark just decides to nip inside rather than play that ball down the line. Searching pass for Shackleton and Stevens. And Gessan. Out towards Good pressing Ryan from Clark, Cooney. Good reaction Forcing there. the error. Burgess to Casey. Casey to Cooper. And now Ilan Mesley, as always, offering a helping hand out of the back. Shackleton. I've noticed Leeds' uh, wingers, Stevens and Clark, have been took in as second strikers when they need to. Yeah, we've there's been the defence a bit more to think about. Yeah, no, definitely. We've, we've like, Liam and Shaq's playing so high in the wide areas and that extra cover at centre half though people like Jordan and Clarky can afford to come in off the line and link up with Ryan because we'll still have that width either way in possession straight over the top Clarky's going to chase this just to make sure the referee puts his flag up and Tedious the rule that the flag doesn't go up until the player approaches the ball. A little bit of delay in the uh, proceedings. Of course, perfect time, Matty, to ask your uh, update on your fitness. Yeah. Progressing yeah. every time we do a game together. Yeah, Starting no, off with yeah. a cage around your leg. Yeah, yeah. Got a fresh haircut today and, <laughs> and now walking even better. Yeah, something different. Um, so now I've just, you know, stuff with my legs going really well. Obviously, I've got the cage off around the end of June and all the strength's pretty much back in it now. Um, just having a few like extra, you know, complications. Obviously, with it being such a long injury, just just trying to trying to get back up to speed in other areas from 
previous injuries, but you know, I'm working hard um, every day in the gym. There's a few lads in there helping me, like, so like Harrison Mayall and uh, Bobby Cameron, who's just coming back at the moment. Um, and Luke Lyons, and we're, we're all just trying to get back fit and get back on the pitch because that's ultimately, ultimately where we want to be. So, now we're getting there. It's just I've not got any certain time frame of yet, but, yeah, just working hard at the moment. Yeah, good to hear, and, of course, hopefully get another game together before the uh, jersey's back on. Indeed. That's Clark. That's a really good ball, in fact, to Shackleton. Just the first touch is a bit too heavy, but great pass from... Clark Shackleton now trying to help Stevens get the ball back for Leeds. The press has been really strong so far. McCalmont then tried to force a mistake out of Gessen. Stevens does force the mistake him in the middle of midfield. Good to see the fluidity of Leeds' team. Stevens playing out of position for a second there and still working hard. Casey, strong touch inside. Right, well worked by Leeds. Plenty of options. Shackleton's got space as well if he wants to go use it. McCarran to Clark. Chance then to get the ball down in towards Edmondson. Finish. Scrappy McCarran tries to go at the near post. It's a but scoops volley off the, the bouncing ball and he forces the save and good support play again. Yeah, no, good stuff, really good stuff. Linking up down that left-hand side and, you know, Bogus has got him with a nice little run and pulled it back, but Liam just couldn't quite get it out of his feet and, and make the contact he wanted. A pretty easy stop in the end for the keeper. Keeper, Lucas Jensen forced to go all the way. Or the left hand side of that six yard box to retrieve possession. Great step up from Pascal Struik. He's not too far away from Fine Stevens. I think he was offside anyway. Struik organising the back three as the central man. Of course, Tim Cooper will be not shy to say a word or two as. First team skipper. Cooper and Struick deal with that. Mesde comes across and keeps the ball in play. Good work by all three. Invaluable as well. I guess Matt, if you were playing left wing back tonight for, for, for Liam Cooper to be in that uh, that team, is, don't know how long he'll play, of course. Yeah, yeah. No, it's, but it's, uh, the lessons you can learn off him while playing there. Definitely, yeah. It's hard to know because obviously he's, he's coming back any from his injury. I mean, I'd guess, I'd guess he'd play around about 45 tonight, but. Um, yeah, he's you know he's a he's a great skipper and he's always talking, letting them know, and it's exactly what you want as a as a well as a fullback myself and you know as as a fan just to see you know someone commanding his area so well and the people in front of him pulling people in and yeah no it's it's good for you know the likes of you know Pascal and Case to have such a good example beside him. Wait for Lucas Jensen to uh, take it. He's not happy, he wants the players to push further forward. It's pretty obvious where he's kicking this. Right underneath <laughs> the dugouts, there's four players. No idea what the confusion is there. It's, uh, it's pretty easily read by Pascal Struick. He just tried to cushion it forward, got caught in two minds, and here comes in Gessen. But no, it's the uh, number 11, Nijai Tucker. Needs to regroup. There's Ferguson Edmondson going towards the ball. Casey gets to it. People are shouts from the ref towards the referee for a free kick. Here's Kiyoki. Stevenson, Shackleton trying to stop him and guess at Shackleton forcing him back. That ball could well bounce out of play, and it has before Tucker can get to it. In this case, he's got the 
Chance to take this throw in. Stevens and Shackleton in front of him. McCalmont coming across the middle. Or past Astroic is the first uh, receiver. Casey to McCalmont. Well worked in the please. space from Lees. Didn't panic. And that wand of a right foot from Arthur McCalmont picks the pass out on the far side. Gives Jack Clark a chance to burst forward. And shoots to McCarran. McCarran uses the decoy run. Just about runs it out of play, but that'll come tonight. Those two players trying to go on their own. Still, relatively few chances to say we're uh, pretty much halfway through this uh, first half. Just a few minutes short. Free kick given Burnley's way. Didn't see too much in that, but nah, very getting little, a pull really. the shirt. We out of the end of the ground. Yeah, yeah. No, nah, very little with that really. I didn't think I didn't think Pascal did much wrong there to be fair, but you know, it's free there's three very physical centre halves there and it's if if the refs just decided maybe thinks there's a little bit little mu a little bit too much doing there then he might blow up, but it didn't seem too much to me either. A good market from Shackleton, comes all the way across to follow the run of Josh Benson. Smart player from Casey. It's not a throw in position you want deep in your own half. No, so it's not. It's not ideal. <laughs> Decides to wait until the last second before going to Meslier. <coughs> Pardon me. Here's Cooper. Cooper to McCarran. Here is Stewart. He's got Katie to his right. Stevens trying to make a run forward, but this is Shackleton for the time being. Casey looking over the top for Stevens. Burnley caught in possession. Stevens has to try and hold it up, but he does really well. Shackleton will now try and use him. He's got tremendous speed, Stevens. Just can't get on the end of that pass. Burnley's flick on is too strong. Good work again from the three centre halves. Yeah, Stewart course, stepping up, the other two stepping back. Yeah, I think. You know, I don't know how long they're going to stick with that that free there and with that pairing, but um, they're, they're not going to get much of the ball, the, the, the two strikers from them three. There's three very, very strong centre-halves there, and it's tough enough as the striker when you've got two up against one, and when you add another man into that, it, it does become very difficult. Yeah, hopefully no commentator's curse from Matty. <laughs> We know who to blame at full time, should it not go our way? As at least doing really well to get down the left. Edmondson's asking for it at the far post. Patans to try and play in. Clark, oh, Burgess, McCarran just maybe took too long there. The great run from him, though, and really good work from Cooper. Win the ball high at the pitch. Struick to McCalmont, who can look for Stevens. He steps up. Decides to go to Shackleton instead. There is McCalmont. Going down the line. And unfortunately, Shackleton just can't get to it. A bit rushed, that one. Yeah, a little bit little bit rushed, maybe. Could have come out, just checked out there, Alf, and, and started again. Right idea, but just, you know, just fired the pass in, really, and it was almost impossible for, for Shacks to, to get on the end of that one. Yeah, reminder, Queen's Park Rangers next up for the Whites. Audio pass is available for uh, worldwide customers as well, and uh, the R's in uh, first team action uh, this evening against Brentford so Leeds hoping to compete with another top six rival on Saturday back here at the road at Edmondson tries to out muscle Benson off the ball he goes to Richardson instead he's have a number of white shirts back and Tremendous work from Ryan Minson. Yeah, good work rate that, really good from Ryan. Obviously, giving the ball away initially, but he's worked back deep, deep into his own arse and, and picked the ball up, and, you know, we're back on the attack again. Yeah, they go again, leads down the left-hand side. So much trickery inside towards McCarran. Clark's trying to pull wide for him. It is back to Clark, floats it towards Edmondson. Stevens also in there. Play George. Stevens does really well to go win it back. Now can he... Pick out a pass. He finds Burgess. Burgess tries to go forward. He's blocked maybe, off at first. Maybe there they can just come out and use use Alfie. That's what he's there for, just to 
come out, bounce off of him and get out the other side. It was all just a little bit tight down that side when, when Bogus picked the ball up. Yeah, ball into Edmondson, headed towards goal, and it's into the net. Creeps past the keeper, and Ryan Edmondson steers it home. Terrific positioning, generates the power from the cross. It's a peach of a ball. Edmondson gets the opening goal, and it's uh, deserved as well, Matic. No, it is deserved. It. The lads have been, have been the best in the first... 25 or so minutes, so no, nah, they probably deserve that on, on the balance of things. You know, ball whipped in, and Ryan's found a good bit of space, really. And to be fair to him, he's, he's done well from there, done very well because it's not an easy header. You know, he still he wasn't exactly whipped across the ball, and he's had to put the power on it himself. And he's managed to just sneak it past the keeper um, down to his left hand side. Yeah, I think the keeper. Lukashenko would probably like to be a little bit better with that, yeah, but he would, no. it's one of those that, I mean, Edmondson puts it as far in the corner as he yeah, possibly yeah, can, yeah. puts him at full stretch because of that, he makes the error. Yeah, no, he, you know, it wasn't it wasn't an easy chance at all, and all you can do really is, is hit the target best you can, and he's done that, and he's, he's got his reward there. Yeah, Jordan Stevens has often looks uh, better for Leeds when he's at his fluent best on the right-hand side attacking, but tonight all the work off the ball is the uh, what's really impressed us yeah he looks he looks good George you know he's he's looked good um, looks sharp and he'll be wanting to try and impress the first team gaffer um, on his return so he'll be wanting to do everything he can really and you know get another f get some more minutes into his legs again yeah, um, cause seem, we all know how good he can be you know when he's had another dimension his to his game yeah, that definitely. work off the ball definitely Casey's got a foot race here, which he wins. Case. And in the first touch, he's impeccable as well, because he actually keeps it in play. Okay. Second one, not too bad either. Even got a clap from Matty, that. Yeah, it was. <laughs> very good, very good work. There's McCalmont. Cooper. That, that's just what you want, really, when a ball's coming in towards the strikers. You just want your centre-half to pick it up and, you know, nice, calm, composed, pick it up and play again, rather than, rather than just, you know, putting it in the stand and saying, oh, we'll... We'll play from there. Casey to Strick. To Cooper. Clark's pulled wide. He's got McCarran on the overlap. Not overlap, should I say. Clark towards the far post. He's asking Stevens to cut into the middle. Good pressure from Leeds. It might pop up for McCalmont. He decides to go to Shackleton, who has been urged to shoot. Casey. Incredibly far forward for a centre half, but such the joy of having three centre-backs back there for Leeds. Cooper. So McCarran. Well, at the 1-2. Now will he fancy a drive towards the box? Clark again. His footwork looks uh, back to its best as well. And Burnley having to watch him. Everybody behind the ball in a claret and blue shirt. Straight to Cooper. Crossfield attempt. Great strike. Oscar Strick. It's a really good ball to Stevens. He's going to try and drill it low and hard towards Shackleton. Finds its target, but first touch. Can't bring it under control. And then it's scooped out to the right, and Burley will get the throw in. Well, I did identify it earlier about the. Uh, Two strikers might not get much, but Richardson, we've had to mention him once. Not mentioned Harker. So, so far, so good. 4-4, four, four. McCarran's so quick as well, and he starts an attack and tries to find Clark. Just shows too much to the right back, Ryan Cooney. Lovely play from Liam Cooper. McCarran realises there's too much pressure, so he has to go forward, but it's not the best pass, and now Leeds have got some defending to do, which Casey deals yeah, with, yeah. great tackle. With Calmont so quick as well, had to see the man coming, Bogus flies in, and Leeds having to scrap here for the first time in a while. They're doing it very well, and some good one-touch football, Stuart dives in, just about gets to the ball, but Leeds just guilty, making a couple of errors here as Cooper steps up, ball across the far post, it's offside as Richardson taps in. Spotted the flag straight away. The band's just noticing it. 
hence the sarcastic cheers. But it's a warning sign, Matty, because... Yeah, it, it, a bit of a weird one, really, because on three or four occasions, they've done really well to to retain the ball through, you know, through Casey, through Liam, and um, just, just didn't want to seem to keep it. Um, just a little bit flustered and... You know, just need to get back on it, get hold of it again. You know, another little mistake from off there. Just need to get get hold of the ball again and and get playing. Yeah. Ball into Harker, who heads over. Leeds have had two warnings now. <laughs> two really good balls coming in from from the right hand side, but now just time to to regroup, get their heads back and get back on the ball, get playing again as you come into the last 15. as they're under pressure. Wouldn't know it with the little simple ball he plays out. Casey looks for Burgess, who went for the first time header. He gets past that Burnley man. It's going to be into the path of Edmondson. Strength. Advantage played against Sarah Burgess. Out to the right-hand side now. And Jay Tucker and Gesson. Up to Harker. Casey to pull the shirt. Referee gives the free kick as Harker goes for goal. And the free kick on the edge of the box and did look like a bit of a clear pull from one of Casey. He got caught a, the wrong side yeah, and just tried a, to sneak it, but a too obvious. Case there, yeah. I think the ref kind of was straight onto that one there. Just like I say, they just need to get back to get back to what they were doing five, ten minutes ago. Leeds just a little bit flustered um, over the last few minutes and just need to get back onto the ball again because we've seen, you know, that if they can do things right, they'll, they'll open up this Burnley side. If they wants a four-man wall, as he just stands at the near post, marking his territory out. Josh Benson in the seven shirt. And before Adam Phillips moves away, so it will be Benson. Gets it straight at the wall. Leads stand firm. Still not over though. Oh, it is as Clark nips in. Now Leeds have to try and build drive, here. Drive, drive, drive. Edmondson wants it playing forward. He's going to get the ball as well. Clark was taken out. Not seeing the referee of advantage. Leeds bursting forward into the box. Edmondson oh. tries to play it. And then he pulls his man down in frustration. Who else but uh, the energetic Jimmy Shackleton to be the <laughs> furthest man forward? Yeah, he's pretty full of, full of energy, isn't he? Um, I think he just got sort in two minds there, right? Because he obviously had... He had Shaq's bursting through and that, that big roar from the crowd and he didn't know whether to just go himself and or he didn't know whether to slide Shaq's in, but great running from Shaq's to, to get up there and support him. Um, a good break from Leeds, that, starting with Jack Clark down that left-hand side. Yeah, if you're just joining us, Leeds in the lead, thanks to Ryan Edmondson's 24th minute header, which proved too much for Ryan Cooney. Again, a reminder, next up on LUTV is Queen's Park Rangers against the Whites. That's the Saturday the 2nd of November. That 3 o'clock kickoff. the audio match pass available for UK and uh, Ireland customers. And Leeds hoping to uh, get a win against uh, a resurgent QPR. As Meslier goes long, looking for Clark. Falls to Burgess. He's got McCalmont on the inside of him. Tremendous awareness from McCalmont to realise that he's about Drive. to get smashed in the tackle, so he spins out of it. Shackleton. Stewart, Casey. Ah, don't follow Stevens. Just when you do want to give a foul away. <laughs> Bit of over eagerness. I think that's where, you know, that's Leeds' is out ball effectively. You know, they're, they're starting to press him a little bit more with that front, um, with the front players now. Obviously, you know, they're trying to get into Case, Pask, Coops. Alf trying to unsettle them a little bit. If they can just get the ball wide towards Jamie, towards Liam, then that's the way out. Lovely little ball from Jamie around the corner to Jordan there. Just couldn't couldn't uh, take it under his spell. And if Jensen could take this free kick. Shriek beaten to it by Hark, who is proving a bit more of a 
Hayden leads his side, a great interception from McCarran, but Cooper just have given a foul away. Shackleton has to watch out. Well, that free kick for me was taken. Yeah, it looked, looked like he put his hand on and, and played, but the refs obviously pulled it back. Bit of a bizarre Interesting. one. Interesting. I think Josh Benson stopped there because Jamie Shackleton spotted yeah, the run. I yeah, I don't think he fancied that one, did he? Yeah, a little bit crafty. Unless the referee had told them that they couldn't take that, but two man wall for leads. Looks like Stevens and Shackleton. Over this again is Josh Benson. Floats it to the far post. Mesley comes out. Header is the first touch. Looks like Richardson, I think, that was trying to get to it. He's uh, gone close twice now. Disallowed goal the first. Into a good area, to be fair. Ripped him really well. It was from, a good ball from the seven. Yeah, it was. Whipped him with pace and. You know, so close to the goal, it's it's not where you want to be marking because any little touch, you can you can see it fly into to your own net. Great, it's a great run, great ball. From Mateus Burgos, it's an equally good pass to Stevens, who's quick, and now he can give Edmondson a chance to chase. Just too close Unlucky. to Lucas Jensen, but a very very difficult skill that to hit first time. Yeah, to another player that's in the middle. That, that's that's really good. You know, you can have you might have 10, 15 passes, but in what three passes there we've got from one side of the pitch to the other and just that final one from George just was just a little bit off but you know that's a different option for Leeds with with Meslier so so comfortable on on the ball. Stuart's header intercepted by Ngesson. It's got Burgess to deal with. Edmondson putting the pressure on. Likewise Stevens and Casey. Rob Harker, the number nine, he's starting to come into this game yeah, a little no, bit more. Is, yeah, yeah. I think George just got to be a little bit stronger in that tackle there, really go and win it off him. But now the nine is starting to drift into the game a little bit as he's coming into little pockets and holding the ball up well for Burnley. Yeah, new champ for us here at the 23s game. Some fantastic in Carlos Cobran to give them a wave. A bit cold for him to get his hands out of his pocket, I'll be honest. As uh, Pascal Strick goes to Casey. Stevens. Back to Casey. Mesley has got to be quick here, which he is. To Stewart. All oh, one touch from Leeds. Casey forward, though, because he's going to get to it. Well Leeds again get out of a really tight situation. He tries the first time to Shackleton. Perhaps he did a bit more of a shout that he actually had time to turn around there. Terrence Burgess, but it has been much brighter from Leeds in the last few weeks. Karen does well. Tries two attempts to get it back. Has to try and get set back here as Clark helps him out. But referee gives a free kick, and the two just got caught uh, a little go a little the wrong side of uh, yeah, the defender. Yeah. Too much desperation again. I think if one had just stepped off and yeah, 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 used their pace, they'd have actually yeah, got yeah, to him. But no. seems to have settled in well, there, McCarron, Of course, yeah, no, he has, since his yeah. arrival, yeah, he has settled in well. Um, nice lad and. He's coming in and just wanting to work hard ever since he's got here, so can't complain with it. And it's you know it's good competition for all those boys, so just embrace it really. Yeah, but they do have a man on that far side, which is a potential worry for Leeds. They've taken it quickly to Edmonds, saw the near post. Edmondson heads clear. It's Burgess Clark's on his way. Edmondson likewise passes a bit too strong for ah. Edmondson from Burgess, and Shackleton tries to get in and help out and. Burgos goes and makes a amends for his error. Which is all you can ask from the Leeds fans' point of view. McCann wants to Struick and no panic again. Cooper's going to carry it forward. A reminder of the Leeds bench. Mazek Jenkins got Davis Roberts as Leeds go forward. Pass is too strong. And it is going to be a goal kick. Leeds marking pretty tightly. Again, Lucas Jensen asking them to go long. Which he does. Straight wins the header. Edmondson, really crisp pass to find Shackleton. 
Meslier. Meslier trying to find Shackleton. I don't think he wanted that ball, but he wants this one as Edmondson plays it to him, looking for Stevens. He's going to get a chance to go back, and it is uh, Jamie Shackleton. Well kept in by Burnley. Referee gives the free kick. Parker again causing a nuisance for the Leeds defence. And into the final few minutes here at Ellen Road. Just tuning into our LUTV coverage. Right Edmondson's 24th minute header is the difference. But Burnley have had a disallowed goal and a chance with a header over the top. So it's still to play for in this game. A couple of leads, lead subs warming up. Tyler Roberts now gets on his way. Ambitious crossfield pass. Leeds, if they could have kept that in, we're on another counter. That's what his formation brings, if you can, in yeah, the sense no, of how the pitch. Two wing backs, yeah. two wingers. There's so many attacking players, you know, particularly down the flanks for Leeds. You've obviously got. Alfie, who's, who's going to sit in there alongside the back three, and Bogus will go and join in all day long. So, yeah, if you can, you know, like I say, if you can get the ball there, you're in, and there's a good chance for, you know, people like Clarky to just drive straight at the heart of the defence. Yeah, Stewart had the option of finding Mesley. Puts his foot through it, looking for a potential flick on, but Leeds get the throw in. Clark beaten in the air. Meslier back in possession. Did shape like he was going to go along with that, but Cooper's the intended target in a closer proximity. Edmondson. Having the uh, shirt pulled off his back as he comes forward. He floated out over the top looking for Stevens. Too strong. I think maybe the right ball there would have just been to go in into Shacks, just just take the easy option and then drive on forward. Yeah, Paul Gassos. He's about to uh, stop the game here. Casey's picked up a knock. Casey's going to need some treatment, so we're going to break in play. And as we see, all the players come across for a uh, bit of a refreshment. McCarran. Edmondson, Shackleton, Struick, Stevens, pretty much everybody so far, but Cooper and Mesley and Matthias Burgess. Again, a reminder Edmondson's goal the difference in the 24th minute. A reminder watch the Common LU TV, Leeds versus Queen's Park Rangers, the 2nd of November, 3 o'clock kickoff. Audio match pass available for UK and Ireland customers. Don't want to see any of our players uh, down injured. Of course, Burnley's for that matter, but a lot of cases had such a good game so far. It looked a yeah, painful he's one. He's a tough boy as well, so I don't like him to stay down. Yeah, no, no, he's, he's been good case, and I think he's just not even going up to win. He's win the initial header. It's just coming down. He's just hit the hit the ground with a bit of a foot, but it looks like he's all right. He's sat up talking to him now, so it might just be you know either a bruise or he might have just been winded a bit from from that fall. A couple of minutes left until half time. Casey seems good to go. Just a little nod at Callas Colbrand for some more instructions. Just what you want when you're a bit winded and can't get your breath. <laughs> the coaching staff telling you what to do next. Stevens will go back to the keeper. We will 
resume the game Leeds 1-0 up Cooper carries it forward Gasson takes it out of play now Shackleton wants to take it quickly straight to Cooper Edmondson Shackleton Douglas had to be braver kind of flying in towards him the ball went out Kiyoki takes it into touch minute and a half to go until regulation time's uh, up Matty and I guess a tough team who are unbeaten this year it's been a really good performance yeah yeah no, it has, it has been good Leeds have, have had the majority of the ball and they've seen that they can un unlock unlock Burnley's door a few times so yeah I think you know they haven't been miles the better side Leeds but they probably shaved it over over the half uh, but Burnley are good they're a strong physical side and you know I've quite liked the nine um, played against the three a couple of times and they're good players so it'll be a you know a tough second half for Leeds but if they can just see this this first half off and get in 1-0 they'll be relatively happy with that I think yeah, again a reminder of that bench Myerzek Jenkins got Davis Roberts who we could be seeing in the second half Again, straight reads the flight of the ball really well. Edmondson nips in. Bogus likewise. Kiyoki flies in with a tackle. Bogus still trying to wrestle the Burnley player. And the referee gives the free kick to the Whites. That's a rolling ball. Straight to Cooper. McCarran going on his own for now Burley intercept free kick to the Clarets we are into stoppage time now in the first half Free kick could well be the last action as Leeds look to hold out until the break. Cooper is fouled. Pretty clumsy from the uh, the Burnley man. And Cooper feeling the effects of that. The referee just going to stop the game to double check he's okay. He did just quite simply run through the back of him. Yeah, he did. I, I don't think. I hope it's nothing too serious anyway, but he looks like he's alright. I think he's, I don't know what he's done, I don't know what he is. But the Harker, I mean, Harker's going across. Referee telling Harker to give the ball back to Leeds, but. I don't know whether he was concentrating on the ball, but it's uh, a little bit naughty to come to the back of somebody. Of course, Cooper's not expecting it. As there it goes long. And that is the end of the first half. So Leeds lead by a single goal to nil. Thanks to Ryan Edmondson's header inside the 24th minute. Burnley did respond with a disallowed goal with Richardson firing home. But Leeds have uh, looked pretty sharp. Good movement all round. Join myself, Tom Hill and Matty Downing for second half commentary on LUTV shortly.
WTV's coverage of this 23 Professional Development League game. Then we have changes at the break. Three in total. Leif Davis. Robbie Gotts. And Tyler Roberts. 14, 15, 16 all on the pitch. So that looks like we've got no Liam Cooper. No Jamie Shackleton. By the looks of things. No Jack Clark as well. Just double checking that. Yeah, Mateus Bogus is still out there. So it looks like McCalmont might have dropped into the middle. Just to help out for a second while Leif Davis is out of position. Ball down the line. You yeah, through the two teams able to get a second to do so. Roberts. Calvin scoops it up in the air. Roberts coming across to try and help out. Very scrappy start to this second half. And it is going to be a throw in. to the Clarets. Headed back in by Ngesan. Just joining us at right. Edmonton's header in the first half the difference, but it's been all Leeds having to do some defending at the start of the second. And they've now won a throw in. So finally a chance to introduce uh, Matty Downing alongside me. Myself, Tom Hill and Matty providing the commentary for you. If you missed his first half update, Matty working Tremendously hard again. Or so it tells me he's been working hard in the gym <laughs> to uh, get back to full got, fitness got, after got that leg injury last year. <laughs> got to say the right things, haven't you? <laughs> nah, but um, uh, cold night tonight. Matty, the players worked it, very hard in the first half. Three changes. Got Davis, Roberts. Um, plenty of energy coming back onto the pitch for those coming off. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, they're not a bad first half for Leeds. At all obviously came in at one nil. Um, you know, a few of the, the changes we said before, didn't we? We said that uh, Coops might come off and we said that you know a few of the lads that have obviously been involved with the first team just topping up on minutes really um i think it looked like saying looks like alfie's dropped into to what's part of a back five um not his traditional position but you know i'm sure he can do it and you know i know we normally like to have an extra center half on top of the amount of strikers so if there's one up top we'll play two if there's two up top we'll play three um, just to give you that extra bit of cover at the back. Um, but yeah, you know, people like Ty Roberts coming on to get some minutes and they'll slot in perfectly. Fingers crossed. Back to Pascal Strick. At the edge of the box, there is Meslier. Roberts looks for Gotts on the far right. Gotts will keep it in play. Focus goes wide to Davis. Good pass from Davis to McCarran. McCarran, good footwork at first, just too much on the unlucky little touch of his right foot. So it appears that, of course, McCarran will continue to push forward in that uh, left wing that position bit of a mix and match though Mike because we've seen Leif Davis slotting at centre half a couple of times Alpha McCalmont then looks like he's playing a third centre half so a bit of fluidity again it could well be that Davis plays this left centre back where Cooper played he also might go play uh, left wing back and McCalmont plays the centre half so it looks a bit more open this formation the second half as Burnley go for goal flipping out. that looked like it, it oh, just clipped the post <laughs> good strike that one it is just I don't know where that's come from really he's just he's just um come come forward come striding forward and gone to hit it and it's not a bad strike at all just clipped the top of the bar that was very close because I played against that left back before and he's he's good very good good going forward and good defensively as well
Ball played forward. Warren with Roberts. Roberts is going to go for goal. And it's going to be played forward. Out towards the far right. There is Gotts. Ball up top. And now back into the uh, number five, which is uh, Scott Wilson. We didn't have to mention him too much in the first half. Here is McCarran. Davis down the left. Straight across towards Meslier. Meslier to Roberts. Roberts nips it inside towards McCallum. Edmondson's trying to burst forward. And over the top for McCarran. Does look now for a few minutes that we are going to play Alpha McCallum at centre half, and McCarran's gone to yeah, it does. left it does, wing. It just shows really the, the versatility in the team. Obviously, the lads have probably made it. Um, aware of what changes might happen throughout the game depending on minutes and for the first team players and, and injuries and I'm sure they'll slot into it perfectly you know Robbie Gotts who's operated in midfield quite a lot of this season playing right wing back let's say Liam moving from left back left wing back to left wing and you know they're all comfortable and capable of doing it yeah, ball back into McCalmont On the top down the left offside flag gone up. A little bit too straight from Pascal, really. It's, you know, you're asking a lot of, <laughs> of Liam to try and get on the end of that as well, whether he's offside or not. Yeah, one ball forward, Strick tries to bring it under control. He's conceded the throwing down the right hand side. Burnley coming back into this game a little bit. Good tackle from Davis. Just to put his foot in and try and start an attack himself. As it's a good run and potential advantage played. It's back. That's not the best cross from Ali Kiyoki. Kiyoki with a decent run again. He's looked sharp as St. Matthew's identified as one of their better players. Yeah, not, you know, not many people managed to to run away from Jordan like that, so fair play to him. Done well, good positive work. Rush pass from a tennis poker step. Better communication needed from Leeds. Yes, and Davis steps up again, doesn't get the look of the bounce, and I can't say it's been all Burnley in the second half, but they've certainly shown yeah. more about themselves than the first. Well That's a really good ball from McCarran to Edmondson. Burgess looks for Roberts now, leads on a scintillating counter attack Roberts has got Edmondson on the inside can he go for goal himself he's going to try and take it to the byline we're going to have a space Roberts it's back to Robbie Gotts Roberts still in possession perhaps regretting his uh, decision not to go for goal early doors pretty good covering in fact from Burnley's defence yeah, he, he did well the six really to, to just usher him away from from goal but you know, really good work from Liam to keep that one in. Good set from Ryan. To be fair, not bad at all. Yeah, Casey, not a fan of the tackle from uh, Rob Parker, who has 
He's taken a couple of chunks out of his players tonight, so perhaps that's why Oli Casey has taken uh, disliking to it. Yeah. Big boy as well. I wouldn't mess with Oli Casey, nah. to be honest. <laughs> nah, strong boy, yeah. Strong boy. Um, yeah, just just had a little hack at him there as Casey as, um, Case just slipped past him, so yeah, I can't say can't say he's really done done much wrong maybe just to, to give him a bit back there. Yeah, free kick taken quickly. Accepted by Burnley, in particular the number two, which is uh, Ryan Cooney. And he's on his way to try and cause Play more problems for Leeds. Good tracking back from Gotts as well as Burgess, but Gesson gets free. Leeds needs to get a bit more of a grip on the game. One man that can do that is Pascal Struick, and he gets uh, Edmondson on his way. He's got Liam McCarran and Tyler Roberts for company. Edmondson perhaps might want to wait for a, another runner. Edmondson still in possession, has to dribble his way into the area. Maybe didn't look like he knew what he wanted to do with that. Yeah, did he want to cross? Did he want to delay it? Or or break off because Leeds are in again. Chance to cut it towards Roberts. Finish into the corner. Oh, just wide. Still going to be kept in by McCarran. Oh. Davis has been marked pretty tightly. That's a Burgess. Maybe Struick. Great work from Pascal Struick again. Gotts. This one's pulled wide. Stevens across the face. Just into the side netting. That's better from Leeds. Yeah, good, really good stuff. You know, obviously, originally with a break through Ryan, he got the ball stuck under his feet. He's come back out. We've we've kept possession and come at him again with with Jordan twice down that right hand side and great ball into tie on the first one. Just couldn't quite shift it goalwards and then on the second one he's just a little bit of a slice into the side netting really. Struick heads clear. Davis had judged to have. Well, found that ball was rolling. Good spot from the ref. Miss Day just kicks it downfield to make sure. Works a bit more time. Just give Leeds time to regroup at uh, the defensive position. Still 1 0 to the Whites. Good work from Cox. Stevens gets in as well. I thought Stevens got a touch to the ball there, to be honest. Weird one, really. I didn't. I didn't think it was too bad. I think he's just. I don't think he's really done much. Ref saying maybe. I don't know if he stood right on the top of his foot or something, but I didn't think it looked too bad down that side. Benson swings in the free kick. It's a dangerous one. Mesley saves. Great stop. Good save that. He just got Scott Wilson that's gone yeah, for it. Yeah, no, he just got a little body jerk away from Pascal and he just gone to flick it and to be fair, it's a it's a great header and it lands done well just to push it over. Um push it over, yeah. Yeah, big leap and good hand to tip it over, didn't waste any time to try and catch it it's too powerful right this corner now to the near post Edmondson again got flicks on will it bounce kindly from McCarran would have done if and guess wasn't there drive, Rob. McCarran manages to get the bounce on the defender McCarran Roberts is asking for it at the far post queuing up he hits it looking for Roberts it's good defending again Defending, yeah, I don't know whether he just got a little bit too excited there. Liam just could have just took his time to to pick someone out, but just poor poor ball in the end, really. But again, good break, really good break from our from a Burnley corner. Yeah, Roberts, a judge to have 
hunched over his man and just trying to get involved. I, I don't know whether that was... I don't know if he was already on his way down, the, the man there and Ty just giving him a little nudge and he just hit the deck, but obviously the rest deemed it a foul there. The ball over the top. It's a good one as well. It's giving Richardson a chance. Struick has to watch himself. Penalty. And Pascal Struick frustrated. Did look clumsy though, Manny. It did a lot lit. It did look a little bit clumsy there. He just I don't know if he, he just got tangled. In, um, in the lad's boot number 11 but he just didn't really need to do it Pasky was coming away from away from goal and uh, he just got I don't know he just got tangled I don't think he's obviously not meant to do it but from the rest point of view I can I can see why he's given that So Ilan Mesley has already saved a couple of penalties for the uh, first team this year Now feeding I Burnley to keep Leeds his one nil lead. No, he can't. Josh Benson slots it into the corner. And we have a level ball game. What a piece. Good composure from the spot, to be fair, from the number seven, but ah, Pascal will be disappointed with that. He'll be frustrated because he, he, he had him where he wanted, really. He was going away from goal. He, he wasn't really a threat um, to Meslier, but He's just clicked him and he'll have to raise it now, Leeds, and, and go get a goal. Straight back to the Carmons. Definitely feel a bit more change in the momentum though this second half. Yeah, it hasn't yeah, been yeah. as dominant for Leeds. Ball bouncing over the top, and he just can't get to the bounce. Stevens, the man trying to do so. Yeah, just need to make sure over these next five minutes at least try to get back on top because you know, don't want to give Burnley any more confidence that and that goal will have already given him. And really, well played. Good work from a Terrace Burgess dribbling on his way towards the box. Twists, turns, it's to Roberts. Roberts tries to find Edmondson and just too many touches from a number of players there, really. Ball over the top, Struit's going to come out, as does Meslier, Davis, back to Struik, I see a really good ball to yeah. find Roberts, and Leeds looking like they're hungry to try and make amends, and Roberts tries to find Davis, Burnley work it, and Gessan to Benson, Benson to Harker, it's good work from Burnley, but Struik gets there first, and clears the danger, Edmondson's not offside, the number five was well behind him, Scott Wilson, Le bang level with me and Matty. Yeah, it didn't really look like he... Well, he wasn't up offside at all. There was a bit of a bizarre one. It's a, bit, a little bit eager there to, to put his flag up. It's a free kick. A chance for Burnley to make a change. Looks like it could be the number 11. DJ Tucker. Which it is. And number 17, which is not listed on our team sheet, which is <laughs> terrific news. Just a reminder of the uh, the first team coverage coming up this weekend. Leeds versus Queen's Park Rangers. It is Saturday, the 2nd of November. It's a 3 o'clock kickoff, and the audio pass available worldwide for our fans uh, around the globe. That's the 3 o'clock kickoff against the Rs here on LUTV. For now, though, all focused on the 23s clash as Leeds... Hope to get past Burnley. What a piece if you're just sitting down on this Monday evening to tune in. Good work from McCarran, but just runs out of space. Standing up. Casey beaten. Still not giving up on it, though. Good work from Ollie Casey. Right. Refused to give up. Might have considered a corner, but... Yeah, good the way the good Burnley were attacking, it could have been a lot worse. Yeah, good work from the number 10 there, really good feet, and he beat Casey once, but Case managed to get back at him, and, you know, it's not what you, you always want to try and not concede anything there, but, you know, I think he'll take that there, and Lees can set up and try to defend the corner now. Yeah, ball towards the near post. Edmonton heads clear again. It's why he's always back there. <coughs> Pardon me, the Leeds number nine. So dangerous. Both at the end of the pitch leads 
really good at set pieces. Offside flag goes up against Burnley, which is needed. And they try to score, and Ilan Mesley stop them once again. Reeds with a throw in. Davis to Struick. Back to Meslier. Meslier forward to Edmondson. It's a nice chest down to Robert. Stevens was asking for it and it doesn't come. Looking for McCarran. Who apologises to Roberts as if to say he should have controlled it? Tough one, really. Both just on slightly different wavelengths there. I think Liam wanted the ball in behind him, and Ty wanted to to drop it to his feet. I'm told number 17, by the way, is uh, Tuno Biode. Just wanted to confuse us. <laughs> Here in this commentary box, Leeds get a free kick. Calmont's one of those players that he's just trying to tick this game into Leeds' favour. Can he work those balls through the middle? Playing as the makeshift centre half. Either outside of him are Casey and Struick. Here is Davis. Gotts asking for it at right wing back. Calmont spots that bit of space and Leeds will now go down that flank. Stevens again trying to cause a nuisance with his little runs into the channel. Bogus over the top to McCarran. McCarran's not offside. And here is Davis. Davis Blame goes past me. his man. Had to swing it to the near post. Headed clear. And it's going to bounce out for a Leeds throw in. Yeah, just skip skip by the right winger there, and he'll be a little bit disappointed with that with that delivery there, Leaf, because he's you know he's gone past him with ease, just needed to try pick someone out or put it into a better area and, and try not to hit the first man. Here's Bogus. Not the best pass. Kicks it straight out. For a throw in, which Burnley will have to do well though to get out from here. Header forward. A great touch. What good work for Richardson. Tries to play in his man. Struick's got work to do and he deals with it so well. With Calmont to Burgess. Leeds get out of a bit of a trap there from Burnley. It looked really good and Burgess shows his strength and needs to get rid of it here. I never realised that and guess when I come across. Needs better communication. Can't lose his head either. Yeah, he did the hard work there, Bogus, didn't he? He just, just needed to try shift it off in time but he's he's dragged his man down there and you know he yeah, can't it's have a fair any card really yeah i can't have any complaints so. biode was on his way one apiece still here at ellen road myself tom hill and manny downing bringing you all the action for this 23's clash Across goal, Struitt's got work to do. Deals with it again. Flick on from Stevens to Edmondson. Has to get rid of it. Gotts. Please can break here. Gotts on the line to Stevens, who's got uh, a runner coming across. It's tremendous work from the number two. Yeah, he made up some real ground there. Didn't he to get across? Rancun is adamant, by the way. That's Leeds' uh, that shouldn't be Leeds' throwing. He's furious. He's been told to calm down as his uh, one of his teammates. I think it's Anthony Glennon. Plenty of time left for Leeds to go and grab a winner. Here's Roberts. Oh, great great flick to Burgess. He's going to go for goal. 
hits it straight into the stands. And I mean, <coughs> might not look the best effort, but I think a lot of uh, fans frustrated with players that use both feet. It's sat nice yeah, and far. Yeah, You've yeah. got to go for no, it. I did, yeah. And if that's your edge of the box with your left foot, I'm yeah. expecting top bins. <laughs> I'm not sure about that, but, but no, he's he's, um, he's entitled to it there, really. And he's a he's a player that's co capable of using both feet. And like I said, when it sits up nicely like that for you, you just you're just tempted to to just level one out you so no, I can't really have too many complaints there Casey mopping up at the back it's to Gotts Gotts has realised the danger so he has to go on his own and go down the line Calmont to Gotts. It's a bogus, good strength. Here, yeah, Gotts calling for that all the time as well. He Whoa. loops the ball to Roberts. Oh, it's so unlucky. Such a good pass from Robbie Gotts. Yeah, great ball from Rob. It's back to Ilan Mesle. So Burnley's hold on the second half is not as strong as it once was. Yeah, no, Le Leeds have come back into it and a few little nice bits of play, but just missing that, either that final pass or that final touch, that, that little bit of quality in there. But there's encouraging signs, so. You know, I think Leeds will think we, they can get a winner here. Yeah, Casey, it's a good splitting pass. And Richardson was adamant that he should have had more support there. Davis, oh, he got caught in two minds. I think he thought McCarron had come short. And McCarron, in fact, had just turned round to go down the line. And Davis has been beaten. Struitt's going to come across and smashes it into the stands. On the line, it, it comes just with Ryan Cooney. Bogus trying a really difficult pass and just trying to keep his head up. Still one apiece. Flag goes up, leads win the throw in. The Burnley player wanted a free kick for a pull on the shirt, would have been a bit soft. And the throw in higher at the pitch. Stewart tries to go cross field, just gets too much slice on that, and leads most to intercept it anyway. McCalmont. That's why Arthur McCalmont's got so much potential about his play. He looked up, there was options, but just didn't panic quick ball could have been intercepted so he just decides to keep it and keep these ticking by watch out from in the middle of midfield try to pull the strings as Roberts gets on the end of that pass from Davis the Karen's in behind Davis is offering a helping hand and Roberts continues on his own shifts one way then the other floats it to the far post Stevens was trying to stay on side can't get to it there's McCalmont Stevens, not many options down the line, so he comes back on himself. Fine into Bogus, who had some quick feet there. Gotts looking for Edmondson, it's not the worst pass, just too close to the keeper. Thumbs up though for Edmondson as Davis gets on his bike to try and stop Biode, who's got pace to burn. Pascal Struick showing there's no slouch at centre half. <laughs> Not to get him a clip of that to uh, show how quick he can be. <laughs> Good yeah, covering he, defensive work he, from he backed himself early in the the 17 he thought now I'm gonna gonna have a foot race with him here but yeah Pascal stood up to the task there and, and dealt with it pretty well. Yeah really good speed from the lead centre half and he's had a really good game. There's been a number of Leeds players that have that have looked bright against a really resilient Burnley team. Beaten in ten, unbeaten all season. There's McCarron, urged to shoot, he wants to keep playing that pass, he's gonna eventually play to Edmondson, header towards goal. Just two underneath him that cross, he just couldn't Unlike the first goal, couldn't generate anything. Richardson's been told to go down, by the way, by the Burnley coaching staff. A 
And we have uh, a first real break of play in this uh, second half. A chance to get some drinks on board. Still one apiece here listening to our UTV. Reminder, if you missed the first half, right, Emerson got the goal to put Leeds in front. Richardson, the man who's down, they have the goal disallowed for offside. Josh Benson getting a penalty after Pascal Struick brought him down. The crowd just trying to get the players fired up for the rest of this game. Change confirmed. And Joel Mumbongo is the man that will replace Lewis Richardson and Richardson's been impressive, he looked good last season as well. Not seen much of Joel Mumbongo, but it will be giving a slight sigh of relief that Richardson's coming off. He's very busy, works hard. Perfect partnership really with Rob Harker. Yeah, I've been impressed with the number 10, I think he's he's done really well you know when he's when he's managed to get our center halves isolated he's he's done too well he's done quite well um, a couple of times he gave case case a problem in this second half and the bunker loses out in his first involvement header by Casey Strick. nice work Awkward pass to collect. McCammon looks over his shoulder. Takes Harker clean out of the game as Casey can carry it forward. Leads patient from the back. for a Burnley throwing. Here is Benson again. Good work from Leif Davis does have one of the most impressive leaps not, a, not the biggest but so much power in the legs to try and jump up for the header wins a throw in great touch McCallum again very impressive Davis back to Stuick again McCarran goes back for it that ricochet doesn't fall his way and here is Bioni again Casey's position tonight has been superb heads away Roberts gives the ball away Hark has got to chase this down and Casey's going to go across to try and stop him Harker beats him first time around over the head of Struick Davis lovely cuss and touch Roberts again goes too early with the pass. Again with uh, Koiki. Benson has been with Burnley's better players. Heavily involved, number seven, Josh Benson. Harker drops the shoulder. A tackle. Oh, Casey again. Who's. Uh, Mallard in candidate for man of the match at the minute alongside Pascal Struick. Burnley wanted a free kick, not given. Casey, unsure whether the Burnley man's actually injured. 
for a second I thought he was going to try and outfox these defenders there and just come to life. Yeah. But he's trying too many of these ambitious balls yeah, forward. Just, just need to just get back to what we were doing. It's just feel like we're just complicating our our game a bit too much and just making silly errors really when when we don't need to. Callis Colburn again just try to give some instructions out. It's that central midfield area really that Leeds have just started to lose their grip. Plenty of talent in there though to change things. We just need to keep getting Alfie on the ball in, in centre mid and and keep getting him think, ticking things over for us because he's the man that's in there to do that. Yeah, but he only steps over it. It's the Benson again, the near post. And there's Benson's cleared the last four corners at the near post. Ball fired back in. Struick deals with it. It's only as far as Koiki. Benson. Not the best pass, and he just can't get up in time. Maybe be fired over the top. Easy for Meslier. Now what can he do on the counter? Issue is Burnley have got so many bodies back at the same time that nothing quick can be taken. So Case is his first option. Over on the right-hand side of defence. Here is Roberts. Davis floats it to the far post. Couple of bodies, so they're getting each other's way. I think Gotch just put Stevens off. He's had to get back now, though. Davis is doing all he can to do so. Power. Into the box, Burnley comes through, has to come down, and it's a great save from Mesley down to his left. He had stepped up Meslier as well to expect the cross, so to get down and not spill it towards goal takes some skill. Yeah, he did well there. Edmondson has set off on a run. He doesn't look to be offside either. Great ball from Gotze. Really good no, ball. Now he needs some support. Edmondson again, Shifting great off, strength. Shifted. Keeps it tight. Tries to float it to the far post, but too much loft on that cross. It's to Roberts. Cross. Davis. Great ball. To the far post. Roberts with an air shot. Here's McCalmont. Back to Gotts. There's Burgess to get. McCalmont. He's been nursed to shoot. Not often he does that though. Got to the cross, normally so pinpoint and accurate with them, it's just too close to the Burnley defender. And leads for the first real time in a long while though, I've got everybody back in Burnley's half. Yeah, no, had, no, that's you know, pretty much their first third. Yeah, definitely. Um, the second half's been a bit a bit tougher for Leeds and a couple of great balls from Leif Davis and from the opposite side from Robbie Gotts there whipped him with real pace and just need to get the bodies in there to attack them properly. Yeah, Leeds get the corner. And met by uh, Plenty of cheers from the home end. Good support again tonight for this 23's team. Ball in from Gotts. Casey tries an ambitious flick oh, onto the roof for the net. If I'm on a Casey, I'm never, ever, ever stopping talking about that if that goes in. <laughs> I'd have a daily nah, reminder in training. I think he'd let us know, yeah. I don't think don't think he'd be the end of that one, but um, he scored a lot of goals last season, Casey, to be fair, and good little improvisation with a flick there. Um, you know, <laughs> not the best, best of balls from Gotsy, but. He's made something out of it there. The 
just waiting for the keeper to get <coughs> pardon me, the game back underway Plenty of a change there number four coming off Adam Phillips I think didn't quite see it gone on, it looks like number 16 in fact Mark Goodrich that's if they're going to keep sticking to their numbers that they went back on earlier <laughs> the 17 out on the field just a few minutes left Mark, have you got a, another match? Um, one of the match from me I'd say either Ollie Casey or I think Alfie's been good but I'll, yeah I'll go with, I'll go with Case, Ollie Casey yeah, Casey for me. just nips it from Pascal yeah. Spirit today for me as well but now I think off the deck from an injury. Yeah, we've looked we've looked pretty solid at the back. To be fair, um, just about creating that that bit more going going forward. He's just trying to keep a high line here. Over the top, Harker's trying to cause a nuisance. Struik has to watch this one out. He does. Leads need to get the ball back quickly if they want to find that winner. Calmont back to Mezier. Burnley keeping that high press, trying to stop Leeds from playing at the back. Not careful enough. Free kick. Well, they're now, by the looks of things, just trying to slow things down. Calmont. To Casey. Over the top, looking for Edmondson. He might just get there. Edmondson towards goal. Going to try and sneak it in. It's just wide. Just couldn't get his foot around it, Matty. But no, I, I didn't think he was going to get there at first. <laughs> to be fair, it looked like he was running away from him, didn't it? But lovely, lovely clip ball in behind. And yeah, he's just, just off. Just couldn't really make the contact that he wanted to get it back across the keeper. And just ends up. You know, going off the side netting into in towards the backboards. Yeah, Lucas Jensen's going to be under no rough to take this. I think Burnley will be happy with the point. I feel Leeds will be bang up there again this season, the North Division of the Professional Development League. As champions, as national champions, and Premier League Cup semi finalists, of course, from last year. Davis nips in. This could be Leeds' last serious chance of the game. Davis going on his own towards McCarran. Karen now uses Davis, who dummies once, needs help. Mateus Bogus has got somebody coming in from behind. He's chopped down. Done well, though. Burnley think it's soft. Leeds happy. Need the ball back, and even if he didn't touch him much, it's always an awkward one at the edge of the box if you yeah, go to the back of somebody. Definitely, yeah. I think he's done well there, Mateus. He's, you know, great drive from Leeds initially, and the attack looked like it died down a bit, but... Um, Mateus has been given the ball in a bit of a tough position and he's just managed to, to just buy, buy a foul there and give Lee a good chance in the, the last couple of minutes to, to maybe try and nick a goal. Yeah, Robbie Cox has stood over this. Let's hope for a good delivery. It's a teasing well, one to the far post. Cleared at first, Gotts will pick up the pieces. He's going to try again, just gets... So over that cross, where Calmont tries to head it, keep the ball ticking over. Stevens of a heavy touch, has to make sure he can't give a foul away. Rise the challenge, nips away again. Stevens has got McCarran. Now when he go on his own, well great ball out. So it's actually Davis. Davis floats it back in. Roberts just can't fall, and Burnley deals well with it. That's actually a really good play in close proximity, but that's John Stevens at his best. Yeah, very good. You know, running at people committing people and then he's put a great ball in towards Leaf right in his path and just couldn't quite squeeze it into anyone anyone properly it's you know bounced around a little bit off tie and the, the keepers come to collect it and that maybe sums up Leeds' day a little bit you know really good right up to the to the last little bit but just struggling with that just that finishing touch yeah, Burnley have a throw on the far side 
Carlos Colbran urging Burnley. This attacker's backwards by pushing, leads the defenders further forward. He wants to try and squeeze them, put the press on. Another throw into the Clarets. One apiece still into the final few stages and time ringing out for Leeds for that, week, for that certain vital winning goal to take it to 2 1. Another important interception from Davis. Gets his ankle clipped, referee says nothing in it. Davis goes for revenge. Doesn't miss. And the Tanoe Bayode. Just got a little bit frustrated there, got the ball stuck under his feet, Leaf, and then just had a little swipe at, at the 17. a poor free kick Benson flies in to make amends Leeds get a goal kick not much time though referee looks at his watch Casey under pressure Leeds to get this ball downfield done it in a handful of passes in the first half just need to be a bit crisper in all fairness, and Burnley's marking's pretty good. Mesley decides to go a bit more ambitious to Gotts. Gotts looking for Burgess. Back to Stevens. Stevens has to be quick here. He might go on his own here, Jordan Stevens. Goes down the line to Gotts. It's a great pass. Last of the dice. Gotts gets crunched in the tackle. It's not out of play. Casey has to be quick as it goes out for a throw in. Do it. Inside to McCalmont. Over the top it comes. Not the best clearance from Bayode. Now can Leeds force the corner. McCarran. It's back to Roberts. He's got Davis up the line. Another air kick from Roberts. Back to Davis. McCalmont. Burgess. Needs a bit more width here as Gotts picks it up. Edmondson trying to get a bit more space. He's offside for now. It's McCalmont. He's going to at least look to go wide. Drops the shoulder. Back to the right. It's tensed. Nervous times for Leeds. Need to get this ball into the box. Force back. Referee. Not yet looking at his watch again. Davis. Not the best pass from McCarron. Now Roberts tries to keep it in. And that was the last chance of the match. Bit backwards play from Leeds towards the end. But it's set. A more positive result after a tough few weeks. One apiece here at Edinburgh Road. Run Edmonton's header cancelled bounce by a Josh Benson penalty. Again, a reminder, LUTV coverage for the Queen's Park Rangers game on Saturday. It's been myself, Tom Hill and Matty Downing. Thanks again to Matty for joining us and join us again soon.